What's up you guys, it's Charlie. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Before we get started, I wanna say thank you guys so much for 3,000 subscribers. This was my end of the year goal, like before December 31st, and I got it around like mid-July. So I appreciate that so much. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so if my energy is a little off, it's because I just filmed this entire video and had to start over because I was looking at the viewfinder instead of the camera. First thing that I wanna show you guys are all of my clothing items or items that I'm going to be wearing in general. So in clothing items, there's no better place to start than scrubs this is the color that my school has us wearing nothing special they're really really big and really really boxy but as long as I'm in the hospital I don't care okay so the next clothing items that I got are these undershirts I got this ooh, got this long sleeve one from Cherokee it's just a extra small because they usually run big. So keep that in mind if you're going to get some. In my program, we have to have undershirts on at all times because our scrubs are v-neck. So if it's not cold, if it's really hot, even though it is always cold in the hospital, I got this short sleeve shirt. It's just from Walmart, really, really cheap. And I also got the little tank top version to wear under my scrubs as well. For my nursing school shoes, I went to Academy Sports and got these Skechers Delights. They are just white, all leather shoes. They are memory foam, kind of bulky, but nothing really special. They just had to be plain white, no mesh, and yeah white shoes <laughs> i'm gonna be wearing them to the hospital because i do work as a patient care technician and hopefully i get to break them in before clinical start to go along with my shoes i just got these all white compression socks that are mandatory for us to wear white socks in our program i have a lot more than this but like i said i work in the hospital and i've been wearing them <laughs> so yeah i didn't want to show you wearing my dirty socks so these are the ones that i got there just from a local scrub shop i also got this all white watch it is really hard to see on camera so I'll insert a picture right here but it's just all white and it has a gray face and it has the mandatory second hand which we have to have in the hospital when you are counting respirations not all I know in my hospital not all rooms have a wall clock so this is definitely gonna come in handy <laughs> it is definitely gonna come in handy we are actually in my program not allowed to have Apple watches so this is what I got and for my last clothing item slash things that are gonna be on my body, I just got two new badge reels. I already have some badge reels, but this one just says, I've got a good heart, but this mouth, dot, dot, dot. And, yep. And this next one says, start the day with a smile. So this next section is gonna be all of my storage type items. So I didn't get a new backpack for this semester, but I did get a new clinical bag. So this bag is just from Target. It is black and gold. My favorite color combination, if you can't tell by my room or the rest of the stuff in this haul, I got a lot of black and gold. This is really big. It has this front pocket and this main compartment, and it's a really nice material to wipe off. And I got it from Target. So yeah, if you want to subscribe to my channel, you might just get a what's in my clinical bag coming soon because we start clinicals in two weeks. Going along with my clinical bag, I have this lunch box. I know I got it from Target, same as my clinical bag. Black, gold, zipper, nothing special, but I think it's really, really cute. It's black, gold, you know, surprising. In my hospital, we have nowhere for the nursing students to put their stuff. I honestly don't even know where they put it. We don't even let them into our break room. <laughs> Also, so sorry if I've been looking over here again. I'm really gonna focus on looking into the camera, into your beautiful face. Next thing that I got is this pencil pouch. It's actually a makeup pouch, but it just says mover, shaker, wrist taker, and it is gold and black. The next storage item I got is this stethoscope case. It is just an all black case link case from Amazon. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. <laughs> and if you've watched any nursing video, you already know what I'm about to say. That same case that everybody has that is so cute. And I wanted it so bad. But by the time I put it in my cart, I'm like, I've seen this case 3,000 times. <laughs> so I decided just to get a plain black one. You know, the one with the stethoscope, the squiggly heart and all that picture here. But yeah, I decided just to get this plain black one. And the inside is just, oh, I already have some stuff in here. But the inside, your stuff goes over here and some stuff goes over here. But yeah, this is the one that I got. Since I just flashed you some nursing school supplies, we're gonna actually get into the nursing related stuff, 
which is the main point of this video. The stethoscope that I got is the Littman Classic 3, like every other nursing student ever. Actually, one of my friends, he got the MDF, but I actually like Littman's better than MDF's. I think MDF's are cuter, but I like Littman's better for, you know, their actual purpose. So even though I really wanted the pearl pink one, I noticed that a lot of people already had it. I got the black one instead, which you probably already saw in the thumbnail. But I just got the Black Litman Classic 3. I'm really, really excited. I think I look really good with that around my neck, if I do say so myself. But yep, plain black. I got the one with the black tubing, the black top, the black bell, all matte, all black rubber and matte black. Next up, I have my blood pressure cuff. It came in this little black pouch, but here it is. It's just a manual blood pressure cuff with the gauge here, the little strap part, and the squeezy part. I don't know. I'm sure I'm gonna learn all this stuff soon. I use them all the time at work, but I've actually never had to use a manual one, so hopefully it's not that hard or not that different. But yeah, I just got a plain black one from my local scrub store. So the next thing that I got are these banded scissors and pin light. They actually came together. These are all black, while these are black and white and white and black. They have the little dilation sizes on them. I'm sure you guys know what pin lights are, but yeah. Next for my nursing school supplies, I got this white foldable clipboard. I did not get the one with the information on the back, just because I have one that I use at the hospital that has all the information on the back and I never use it. So I figured I could, if I really wanted to use it as a cheat sheet, I could just put something on the back of it, like a sticky note or something and tape it down. But yeah, I just got the foldable one. I'm sure you guys know, you just put your clinical paperwork in here. Fold it up when you don't want anybody looking at it and it fits perfectly into your cargo scrub pocket. So the next thing I want to show you guys are my generic school supply stuff. The first thing I want to show you is my planner. It's so cute. It's black, white, and gold. Shocker, shocker, surprise, surprise. It's the Day Designer by Target and it just has the monthly layout and the daily layout in it. Also, it comes with some stickers in the front. They are all gold, but I picked up a book of stickers from Walmart for like $3. And they are all black, white, and gold, and they're all really cute. And I cannot wait to put all the dates in my planner and make it super duper cute. Next, I just have my binders. I got this white and gold one from Target. It's super duper cute, just my style. Inside, it has dividers, so I saved a little money there because this thing was $12 for a binder, which isn't too bad because the whole reason why I found this white and gold one was because I was watching another nursing school haul video here on YouTube, which I'm sure you've probably seen. And I believe her name is Ashley. She showed this white and gold binder that was so cute but it was $30 and I'm not about that life. So instead with my $30, I got two binders. I got the white and gold one and the black and gold one. And I'm really, really excited because they are so freaking adorable. And I can't wait to show you guys how I do my notes and how I study because it's kind of a little different, I think, than a lot of other people. Going along with how I study, I also have to have a clipboard when I write. I don't know why it has to have a hard surface. This one's not gonna be taken to clinical with me, but just like at my desk or wherever I'm studying, I do like to go to like Panera Bread or like Starbucks or the library and I have to have something hard to write on other than the table. I don't know why, it's a weird thing, but it's just black and gold like everything else in this whole entire video. So the rest of my paper products, I have um, these two notebooks. They are by Five Star. These are the prints on it, if you can see. I think they're really super duper cute. So I got the matching folders that I can slide into my binder and put any handouts in. Okay, so I love watching hauls, especially nursing school hauls and school supply hauls. But my pet peeve is when people over explain something so simple. So I'm gonna try to get through these last things pretty quickly. My pet peeve is when someone's like, oh my gosh, these are the pins that I use. I love them so much. I wanna marry these pins. I wanna have kids with these pins. I love these pins so much. We're not doing that here. They're just pins, sis. Calm down. So let's get through everything else. Paper Mate Profile Pins. Four Expo Dry Erase Markers. Index Cards. The small ones are for regular notes and the big ones are for pharmacology. Post-it Sticky Notes. Blue, pink, yellow, really cute. Big Post-its for to-do lists. Big mechanical pencils. Calculator for dosage calculations. Paper mate flare pens. More sticky notes. Post-it flag page markers. 15 count of mild liners. 
Um, I've been using these for years. I noticed a lot of YouTubers are just now starting to use them. So they're pronounced mild liners for people who have been saying it wrong. But I already have the pastel pack, so I went ahead and got the vibrant pack this time. And I got these notebooks. These are the same mini notebooks that I use while working at the hospital as a patient care technician. They are also in this video where I say all of my patient care technician essentials that I take to work with me. So these are really good for jotting down notes and putting them in your scrubs. These last two items aren't really school supplies, but I got them anyways. I got this water bottle. It's one of my favorite colors, obviously pink and it's just from Walmart it's really cheap and it fits in my backpack perfectly and last but not least I got some earplugs because I was watching I believe Maddie's channel um, Maddie's nursing journey she put this in her nursing school essentials video to get some and I'm one of those people who really really need peace and quiet so I definitely needed to pick some of these up I am finally done with this video it took so long to film so if at any time I start looking at the viewfinder instead of the camera, I sincerely apologize. Thank you guys again for 3,000 subscribers. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment something super sweet. The comment of the video, I believe, is what type of nurse or what specialty you want to be. So make sure you leave that in the comment box. Subscribe if you're interested in watching my vlogs because those are definitely going to start happening very soon. I start school next week. Thank you guys so much for watching again and thank you again for 3,000 subscribers. It means the world to me. Make sure you go follow my new nursing Instagram. I just changed it. I'm revamping it. I'm changing it up a little and have a blessed day.